Yes, hello, thank you. On behalf of the entire crew, thank you so much for visiting us today. What was your name again? Oh, it's Kim Lee. Kim Lee? Yeah. All right, all right. And tell me a little bit about yourself, Kim Lee. Well, from New York City and uh, big into karate. Got influenced it from watching Bruce Lee movies and also watching tons of anime. Like Dragon Ball Z was my big influence and that caused me to want to just learn how to do all that martial arts stuff. Okay. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z and Bruce Lee. Like the, the one with the Super Saiyan. That's right, Super Saiyan, you know. And Goku, you know. Going Super Saiyan style on people. All right. All right. And Tell me about Mars. What compelled you so much to, you know, join us here today? Man, just like from an episode of Dragon Ball Z, I remember Goku going out in outer space and he was training, training on the different, different, uh, uh, the different gravities of, of Earth. Like he was training like a hundred times the, the gravity power of Earth in one episode doing one-handed push-ups. I want to do something like that in yeah. Mars. One-handed push-ups. <laughs> That's right. In Mars, the first person to accomplish that, and that's really it, huh? So this is going to be a very small six-person crew. Should you be selected to be a part of this extremely historic mission to Mars, number six, what would you say is your greatest strength? What do you bring to the group of all the people who are trying to go to Mars? Why you? I am the one that that can. Uh, it. I will be the one that kind of the enforcer of making sure everyone, you know, is you know is following by the rules. You know, I'm gonna be the one that you know. Yeah, like kind of like a police officer in outer space. Police officer. Yeah. In outer space. Making sure everyone is in line and no nobody going uh going crazy. Now, are we talking one of those stereotypical donut-eating police officers, or are we going for more of a Bruce Willis, John McCain vibe here? I'm, I'm a total serious guy, so total every, serious. Yep, everything by the books. So everything by the books, no jokes. That's nothing. right. Okay, so you're one of those. You're the guy who doesn't let anybody off with a warning. Me? Oh, some depends. Depends on the situation. I could, but I will definitely let people know if you're getting out of line. Getting out of line. What about weaknesses? Like, what is something that might hurt the group? Everything on the table. This is a judgment-free zone. And my weaknesses? Uh, there's not much. <laughs> not uh, not much. But probably would say I eat. Uh, food is probably my biggest weakness. Probably. Food is your biggest weakness. Like, what kind of food are we talking about? Oh, I eat everything. everything. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, whatever you, whatever I get served, I'll eat the whole thing, and I'll probably be asking other people for their, their so whatever their remaining portions are. Whatever you're served, so you don't do home-cooked meals, is oh, what no, you're saying. No, I'm not very good with that. Because, <laughs> to my knowledge, currently, there are actually no restaurants yep. in Mars. So there's going to be situations where you may have to provide your own sustenance. You know, we're gonna send you guys off with a little bit of food, but that's certainly not enough to last a lifetime. Sure. You're gonna have to build a life for yourself. You're gonna have to take charge. You're gonna have to grow this entire community out of nothing. All right. Can you tell me how you might, you know, contribute to that? How are you going to? Well, since I train all the time, all the time I'm training, I have the muscles okay. to, you know, to help build our, our community in Mars, you know, building the, you know, facilities of our whatever, living pods, You're gonna whatnot. Do it. I am the, with I will your, be the muscles. With your muscles. That's right. You're going to be the muscle man in Mars. And just so you are fully aware and understand the whole gravity of the situation, should you be selected for this extremely historic mission to Mars number six, you will leave this planet and you will never return. Everybody here that you know, you will never see them again. Do you understand this? Oh yeah. Okay. And you're okay with this? Yes, yes I am. So you don't have that many friends is what you're saying. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. Sure. And one last thing. Is there anything that we need to know? Criminal history, anything that's going to come up in a background check? Well, I, got some, uh, I got some assault charges assault back in the day, charges. but I didn't start the fight, but I finished it. You finished the fight because you're the muscle man. That's right. So you do. You take assault charges. And how long ago was this? Are we talking like yesterday or? No, oh, about, about a year ago. Okay. And can you elaborate a little bit? Oh, I was out out at the bars with a couple buddies, might have some drinks, and then I got shoulder checked by this tall, biggest guy in the in the room. And I just went, what the heck? Smacked him right over in the head, and then before he knew it, I pounded him three other times, and then he just collapsed to the ground. So let's say you're in Mars, you and these five other people, you're minding your own business, and one of your colleagues accidentally, you know, shoulder bumps you. Well, How well, do you respond? This is going to be different because I know these people. These are, we're all on a team here, so. You actually have not met any of them. <laughs> but I will take that into consideration. Does anybody else have any questions? No one? None? We're all good. Do you have any questions for us? Um, when do we go? Unfortunately, that is classified. But we have your phone number. We have your email. Um, we may or may not contact you in the future. However, if you would like to look right into the camera and let the good people of Earth know why it is you that they should choose for this mission. People of Earth, you need me. You need me. I'm here to, I'm here to save us for the next, for the future, you know. Earth 2 on Mars. New life. Thank <laughs> you.